Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. Here's a quick video to help you calculate the volume of your pond. I will teach you everything that you need to know to quickly and simply estimate the volume of any pond. Knowing the approximate volume of your pond is a vital piece of knowledge that every pond keeper should possess. It will help you to work out dosage rates for treatments, choose pumps and filters, and let you decide on sensible stocking rates for your fish. So, let's get started. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be working in metric, and the results will be expressed as litres. For calculations to work, the measurements should be expressed as metres. So, 550 centimetres would be expressed as 5.5 metre, and 2,550 millimetres would be expressed as 2.55 metres. If you need to convert litres to gallons, simply multiply the litres by 0 0.22. Let's start with the easiest pond style to calculate. A basic rectangular or square pond with straight sides, no shelves and a flat bottom. To calculate the volume, just measure the length, the width and the depth of your pond and then multiply them all together. Length times width times depth times 1000 equals the litres. So, let's say my pond is 5.5 metres long, 2.5 metres wide, and it has a depth of 1.2 metres. 5.5 multiplied by 2.5 by 1.2 by 1000 equals 16,500 litres. To convert the result to gallons, just multiply it by 0 0.22. That's 3,630 gallons. Now, assuming that you've measured everything accurately, your calculations are going to be very accurate. The next easiest pond to calculate is a circular pond with no shelves and a flat bottom. To calculate the volume of this pond, we need to measure the diameter and the depth of the pond. For the calculation, we need the radius of the pond, so we divide the diameter by 2. We then multiply everything together. Radius times radius times depth times 3.14 times 1000 gives us the litres. Now, notice that we use the radius twice and 3.14 which is a rough approximation of pi. So, let's say your pond has a diameter of 3.5 and a depth of 1.3. We divide the diameter by 2 to obtain the radius, which is 1.75 meters. Then we multiply everything out. 1.75 by 1.75 by 1.3 by 3.14 by 1000 gives us the litres 12,500 litres. If we want to express this in gallons, we multiply the result by 0 0.22 to obtain 2,750 gallons. As before, you will get a very accurate result if your measurements were good. So far we have dealt with easy situations, with simple shapes and no shelves. But what about a more complicated shape? How would you deal with a pond shape like a kidney, with a shelf down one side for example? Well, my approach is to calculate the shape as though it was a rectangle without shelves, and then to estimate a factor by which to reduce by. So, we need the overall length of the pond, the overall width of the pond, and the overall depth of the pond. Then we imagine that it is sitting inside a rectangle, and we estimate how much of the area is actually pond. We then multiply everything together. The length times the width times the depth times the reduction factor times 1000 will give us the liters. So let's say your pond is 4 meters long, 3 meters wide, and has a depth of 1.3 meters. 
I estimate that about 30% of the area is not actually pond, and about 20% of the pond has been lost to the shelf area. You can reduce any number by 10% by multiplying it by 0 0.9, or by 20% by multiplying it by 0 0.8, and by 30% by multiplying it by 0 0.7, and so on. So the calculation is 4 by 3 by 1.3 by 0 0.7 by 0 0.8 by 1000 equals 8736 litres. Again, you can convert this to gallons by multiplying by 0 0.22 to obtain 1921 gallons. Calculations done using this estimating method are going to be somewhat less accurate, but for the most purposes, they're going to be perfectly reasonable. To take things a step further, you can calculate pond volumes by splitting up the pond into manageable sections that can be calculated out using the methods that I've outlined previously, and then adding all of your results together. If you want to know the volume of a pond that you are just about to fill, you could use a water meter. If you don't want to buy one outright, you could hire one for a small fee. I hope that you found this video interesting. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.